Hey guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush Sports Australia. Today on the KiFit program, we're going to go over the kettlebell deadlift. Now, we've done the kettlebell high pull, we've done the kettlebell swing, and now we're going to go to the deadlift. If you have seen some of our deadlift videos, it'd be good to check them out first, get a bit of an understanding of this setup, its starting position, it's going to be quite relevant for today, okay? Now, the big thing with the kettlebell deadlift is one, you don't have, um, you don't have any uni unilateral um, bias with your arms, I guess. So, Basically, uh, sort of what that means, or what I understand of it is, um, if you have a bar, you're naturally going to have one stronger arm than the other. So this, we have two separate kettlebells. We get 100% load in each arm evenly. So this is going to help promote muscle balance and promote um, being strong in both sides of your body, whether you're ambidextrous or not. Okay. Now the big thing with the kettlebell deadlift is making sure the kettlebells aren't too wide to start off with. So when you come down, you want to make sure they're sort of just outside your feet, okay? Now you can pull some pretty big weight off the ground with the kettlebell deadlift. I mean, if your gym has 40s or 50s or 56s or whatever, however big your kettlebell they have, can be quite effective. You can also do those dumbbells as well, just a different way that the, the dumbbell is loaded. So the big thing with the kettlebell, keeping, uh, kettlebell deadlift, keeping a nice straight back, and really engaging through your glutes and hamstrings and keeping the arms nice and straight, okay? And resisting the urge to roll the shoulders in. So coming down into our starting position, my feet are under my hips, you notice all my legs are straight, we're creating force that likes to drive in a straight line, okay? We come down into a nice starting position, notice my legs aren't diving like this. As we engage the lift, basically, it's almost mimicking a deadlift. We don't want to let our bum shoot up too early, so we don't want to do something like this and come up like that. We don't want that. We want to really engage the lift driving through our legs, okay? So as you're down here, we're keeping our chest up the entire time. You can imagine this is just like picking up some shopping bags out of, the, uh, out of Woolies or Coles or wherever you shop. So go back through it again. Up. Now, if you do struggle with the depth, you can place the kettlebells on some plates or a bench or something to raise it up a little bit higher. That can definitely help. Like I said, you can pull some pretty big weight with this sort of stuff. Great to put into a circuit or some sort of conditioning in your program. So give these a go. Kettlebell deadlift, very simple, really effective. Gets that posterior chain firing, builds your hamstring and glutes up, creates a lot of power in the hips, which then gives you power off the water. So Braden from Dralin Rush, I hope you got something out of this uh, episode of the kettlebell deadlift. I'll see you next week for another episode of the Kite Fit Program. Cheers, guys. Check out adrenalinerush.net.au for all the links.